Last week we talked about scales. Now scales are notes that are played consecutively, one after the other. This week we're going to talk about chords. Chords, essentially, are notes that are played together at the same time. And when we play notes together, we wind up with what's called harmony. Remember last week we spoke about a C major scale. That was one of the scales we learned. C major scale in first position. Now if we take notes from that major scale, we can wind up with chords. What we're going to do is skip over every other note and we're going to play three notes to play a chord. So we start with the C, we skip over the D, we use the E, skip over the F, and use the G. So we wind up with C, E, and G. Let's run through that again really quickly. Remember the major scale. We're going to take the first note, skip over the second, play the third note, skip over the fourth, and play the fifth. So we wind up with one, three, and five. That chord is called a major triad, and it uses one, three, and five of the major scale with the same root. We had C major, and now we have a C major chord. The C major chord essentially captures the essence of the C major scale. That was a C major chord built from a C major scale, and that was in root position. Now root position means that the root is on the bottom, the third is in the middle, and the five is on top. Now if we were to change the order, like if you were to play three, five, and then put one on top, an octave higher, it would still be a C major chord. However, it would be a different inversion. So here we have a root position chord. Now we're going to take one, which is the C, and we're going to place C up an octave, and we're going to play the same sequence of three and five, but we're going to play C up an octave. We call that one first inversion. Now first inversion has three on the bottom, has five in the middle, and it has the root on top. It sounds the same, but it sounds slightly different at the same time. So we have root position. Now we have first inversion. Now, if we were to take the E that's now on the bottom, and if we were to put that E on top, an octave higher, on the open string, first string, and we played starting with five, and then one, with three on top, we wind up with what we call second inversion. So we have root position, first inversion, and now we have second inversion. Now they all sound like C chords with a slightly different flavor. Now as long as we play those notes, one, three, and five, in any order, we are still playing a C major chord. Fortunately on guitar, we have the ability to double notes. Play a C here, three, five, 
We can double the C and we can still double the E on both the top string and the bottom string, so we wind up with this sound. Here we have what's called an open position C major chord. Open position chords allow us to make use of any open strings that are available to us that are within that major chord. And there are a few open position chords that we're going to learn this lesson. The first one, of course, is the C major, which we already know now. Another very popular open position chord is called the G major chord. And it's shaped like this. Now, if we look at the degrees of the chord, we'll say that's a G on the sixth string, third fret. That's a B, so that is actually the third note in a G major scale. One, two, three. That's the fifth note in the G major scale. Now we have an open G, and we can double notes, triad notes, like this. So that would be the root again on the third string open. Here we have the third again. And then we double the root again on the first string, third fret. So there we have an open position G major chord. We can do the same thing in the key of A. A, B, C sharp, D, F sharp, G sharp, and A. So we start off with the root, one, that's five, which is the E. We double the root, second fret, third string, with another A, and then we have a C sharp here, which is the third. And then we have the fifth on the open string. We can also double the open string E down here on the sixth string, and so we wound up with an open position A major. We can do the same thing for the key of D. We can start with D. We have the A, which is five. We double the D which is the root. We have F sharp on top, which is our third, and we wind up with an open position D major chord. Now if we want, we can play the fifth string, which is an open A, because A is part of the chord too. So we can double the A, which is the fifth in the chord, and it sounds like this. We wouldn't play the sixth string, which is the open E, because E is not part of the D major chord. The D major chord 1, 3, and 5 would be D, the F sharp, which is the third, and then the A, which is the fifth. We can play the A, which is part of it. Many people leave the A out because They'd like to hear the root on the bottom of the chord. It sounds a little stronger. Now we can do the same thing for the key of E. E major, we can start off with the root, which is the E. We have the fifth, which is the B. Then we have the root doubled here again on the fourth string, second fret. We have a G sharp, which is the third. We have the B, which is the fifth, and then we double the root again. 
So now we have an open position E major chord.